What is up guys, my name is Brandon Red here and in today's video we are actually doing a review of Target's new Harry Potter Mystery Flying Snitch. Now I've taken everything out of the box but a little context of why I'm doing this video and why I'm in my gorgeous Universal Harry Potter Slytherin robes is because um, Harry Potter kind of or Warner Brothers came out with a brand new line. Um, Walmart got some stuff and then Target got a whole big section and our store had this huge front and uh, like in the front they had a huge display. So I really wanted to see this after seeing the Comic Con footage of this thing. I was really intrigued. Um, I can already kind of tell how it worked from the um, from the footage they released and if you guys were a kid and had the worm on a string it's a pretty similar concept actually. So in the box, I've already unboxed everything unfortunately for you guys, you get um, first off what I noticed this really cool kind of Quidditch um, poster, which I didn't expect to get. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it basically goes over the entire rules of Quidditch. It has like the rules for what a snitch does, types of broomsticks, uh, different houses, what a Quaffle and Bludger do. It's really cool. And then you might put it up on the wall. I probably won't. I'll probably lose this in about 20 minutes. The snitch um, comes packaged in this uh, plastic um, kind of vacuum form plastic housing. I was really, really scared taking this out because the the snitch was really in there and all you could grab were the wings and I did not want to break the wings off. But after reading the instructions, I just found out there is an extra pair of wings here in the bottom because I guess they are expected to break at some point or they are a little flimsy. In my opinion, they feel pretty strong. So it's a metal wire with um, clear sort of printed wings. The snitch itself is pretty great. Uh, pretty, yeah, pretty great quality. It's... A little smaller, I think, than Universal. Universal has one that flaps its wings. This one's wings flap super fast. Like, I don't know if you can see how it, the flutter of how fast that is as opposed to the white ceiling, but it is a fast flutter. And there's a little switch here in the back that you switch on and off to make it flutter. Now, here comes the whole kind of trick how this thing works. I've tried to show this string on um, the camera and multi different different cameras, you cannot see this string. That is the trick to it. I've never seen a string so thin. I can barely even see it in real life here. There's a little piece of putty attached to it. That's probably the only amount of string I can show you. It's almost like it's, it looks like black hair. If you had black hair and you ripped the whole hair out, that's what it looks like, you can't see it. So in this set, you get this kind of whole set of what the instructions called posts. And on these posts are strings and putty. Now there are two pieces of putty on each piece of string that one attaches to the snitch um, that you slide under this little hook which you really can't see. That's the piece of putty. So unless you really show people that they really can't see it. It is kind of obvious though in my opinion once you put it on like if that you know where it is. And then so it comes with string that either has two sets or two pieces of string or three. And I guess it wants you to use the three pieces of string first because the the reason there's more string is because it's stronger, and then it, um, the less string is less strong, but it's less visible. I can't see any of these goddamn things. It says in the instructions you should be able to tell which strings have the three and the two. I could not figure it out because they're in it's invisible. It's straight up invisible. So what you're supposed to do is attach the string to the, to the snitch, and then it says to attach. It doesn't give you really important like incredible instructions it just says wrap this and or it says just put it on your earlobe or collar of your um shirt so this putty is not that strong it doesn't really stick to anything but itself so what i found the best way to do this is i make sure the string isn't wrapped or anything i take the string which unfortunately you guys can't see i wrap it on my ear twice and then i take the putty behind my entire ear and stick it to the string. If I can get that to work. And yeah, there and now it's attached. So now the string or the snitch is floating. It is supposed to apparently go down to your belly button, but I really couldn't get it or it goes usually lower than that, so I usually bring it way up. So you turn your snitch on. And then I guess, okay, the robes are not the best thing to be wearing to be showing you guys how this works. But honestly, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it has a gimmick to it, okay? Do you guys remember the Fushigi? Like, it is quite similar to the 
the effects of sushi. And you gotta get really good at it. Like, I obviously suck. This is my second time using this. I just unboxed this and got it at Target because I really wanted to try it. But people in the video are doing, like, crazy spins around their head and stuff. And I'm like, um, like, give me a year? And then maybe I can do it. So let me get a few close-ups for you guys. There's the snitch. It's flying. You can really see the putty because I didn't flatten it out completely right. And then you can catch your golden snitch and then release it back into the wild for other seekers in the wind. So yeah, I'll turn that off for you guys. So that is basically how it works. Sorry for giving away the secret. The snitch also does come with this um, little black base that it sits on top of. So if you want to display it, I'm actually going to put this on my Harry Potter shelf to display it. Um, overall, it's a pretty interesting piece. It's a really cool toy, I guess, for kids. It only costs $20, so you're not losing too much money. I think it's a Target exclusive. I've never seen it anywhere else. They don't really state that it is a Target exclusive, though, so you might be able to find this in other stores. I would look into it. I believe it's made by the company Wow. Yes, it is. Who also have the Harry Potter light-up um, uh, writing wands, which I really want because they have a new one, and the illumination they got with these wands, they seemed to be a little bit thicker, then the Noble Collection, but not as thick as Noble Collection's illuminating wand, so I just want it as a prop to light up. And this is my Queenie wand, I just thought I needed a prop. And I have my, you know, wand holder in this fabulous robe. So yeah, I just thought I'd show this out for you guys, I thought you guys might like it. Um, please like and subscribe and uh, comment more if you guys want me to go find more Harry Potter Target stuff. I really don't know yet. There wasn't too much that really thrilled me. I did get the Harry Potter Slytherin robe, or Slytherin, um scarf. It was only $7 at Target. So thanks so much guys. Have a great day.